Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me as I explore the global wide world of pens. And yes, we have a box. A box from China. Um, don't want to let a month go by without a, some new pen BBS pens in my life, so that's what's in this box. It was an order on Etsy. It arrived relatively quickly considering uh, the Chinese New Year and all the other uh, impediments. So one of the things that PenBBS, at least in all the boxes that I've ever gotten, they use the same type of um, tape on the box. So you can always know when you're going to get your PenBBS pens. So we're going to open up the package and take a look at what's inside. Yes, I have two more pens to add to the few hundred I have already from PenBBS. And I got these for particular reasons. And no, they aren't duplicates, which does happen on occasion. So here's a 480, which I think is an excellent model in Galaxy. So I don't have a 480 in Galaxy. And this is the pen that really encouraged me to purchase was the 469 in Peacock. Peacock is one of those rare colors. I'm amazed at how long it stayed available on Etsy, but I think uh, 469 is not a popular model. We have a new sticker here, which I haven't seen before. And of course, while I'm buying this pen and this pen, this pen I basically bought because the shipping is covering all of these orders. So if you buy uh, one item from Etsy or the Pen BBS store on eBay, you'll pay six or eight dollars in shipping. It varies, it changes a little bit. And if you buy multiple items, then you still pay that same shipping. It might go up as a dollar or two, but it certainly spreads out the shipping among the items. And this is, I think, my fifth or sixth parts bag. I don't know whether I need more, but I certainly think for the price, this is a phenomenal buy, just like most of the things that you can get from PenBBS. So the question is, is why do I have these two additional PenBBS pens, which I have no plans to ink up immediately, but I have to admit that Peacock is an attractive resin. It's certainly in the green family, and it is pretty different from most of the other resins that PenBBS uses. Yeah, this section is the same resin as the two end caps. And this is also uh, nice because now you can get these most of the time with a medium nib on one side and a nice two-tone fine on the other. That's the rhodium one with the gold in the middle, which is similar to the two-tone version on the 456, different than the two-tone version on the 355. So hopefully you can appreciate this resin. There's a little bit of transparency to it, opaqueness to it. I just really like it. And I think the 469 is one of those absolutely uniquely designed pens that PenBBS makes. You may ask, how does the 469 fit in the hand? Well, if you're only going to uncap one end, it fits great. Excellent length. The balance is good because most of the weight is where that ink is. If you want to keep both of them uncapped, it also still fits fine in the hand. Feels a little bit better, I think, weight-wise with that cap on it, but it's just my preference. This has that third nib that they include when they sell you the 469 is this roller ball. Let's just quickly see how it writes. As you can see, it, it writes fine. It's a roller ball. Not my favorite method. Um, this has been inked up since I got the pen. I think I filled it once or twice, so it just works. Uh, I definitely prefer a fountain pen nib, but it's always interesting to have an option. 
The 480 is a very traditional pen. Looks like they've gone to a very plain pen pouch, which is fine. Uh, I have a, a fair number of them, and I'm very happy with them. And it looks like oh, there's the pen BBS buried in there. A little bit of a label there sewn in. So this is Galaxy in the 480. Phenomenal finish. Doug's favorite most of the time. And this pen, to me, for the price, uh, there's nothing that compares to this pen. That hand-turned acrylic, which is absolutely done perfectly. Beautiful, nice polish. You take off the cap, and you see that section. And, of course, I got a medium nib. I have plenty of fine nibs, so I'm trying to get the same number of medium nibs as I have fine. That may take me a while, but it's a work in progress. Yeah, the 480 uh, fits nice in the hand. It's a little bit small in the section. The section is a little smaller than some of the other pens, including the 308 that this is supposedly uh, based on and an evolution of, but that's the two pens that I got today. So one of the things that I want to ask you, uh, the viewer, is I certain I'll do all my 469s. I think I have seven of them, and most of them are in fairly unique, interesting resins. I have a lot of 480s. Unfortunately, I can't give you that number because I haven't checked my spreadsheet recently. But I might do the 480s too. And the other video that I'm uh, toying with is just going through all of the different colors I have of my pen BBS pens without regard to the model. Like starting with number one, which is cedar, which is that beautiful kind of striped resin. It's a uh, white and a, and a kind of a beige or ivory stripe. And then going up to the highest number I have, which again, I need to check my spreadsheet for. So that's the question I'd like to ask. Leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm certain I'll do both eventually, but which one should I do first? Go through all my models and all the colors I have in a model or go through all the colors? Let me know. So we've reached the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed a little bit of a visual tour of two new pens that I have, and I think they're quite nice and I'm quite happy with them. And of course, adding more pen BBS parts is great because I put together those nib assemblies when I want to put in new nibs or a ground nib from Arlo you know they just have very useful so hopefully all of you are safe healthy and happy enjoying pens finding ones that you love getting them delivered and speaking of pens being delivered uh, this new pen I ordered has arrived in the states from uh, Toe Boo Focus so yes, it was uh, costly, uh, well not really costly at the end of the day, but it, it certainly uh, was more expensive than most pen BBS pens as a delivered price, including shipping. So hopefully within a week, I'll give you a review of that new model. Be interesting. So enjoy your life, enjoy everything, explore, experiment, have fun. Until the next video, bye.